It was more than a year later, in the hot and spacious days after the long dance, that a messenger came down the road from the north to Middle Valley asking for the widow Gohar. People in the village put him on the path, and he came to Oak Farm late in the afternoon. He was a sharp-faced, quick-eyed man. He looked at Gohar and at the sheep in the fold beyond her and said, Fine lambs. The mage of Ray Albi sends for you. He sent you? Gohar inquired, disbelieving and amused. Ogion, when he wanted her, had quicker and finer messengers. An eagle calling, or only his own voice saying her name quietly. Will you come? The man nodded. He's sick, he said. Will you be selling off any of the ewe lambs? I might. You can talk to the shepherd if you like, over by the fence there. Do you want supper? You can stay the night here if you want, but I'll be on my way. Tonight? This time there was no amusement in her look of mild scorn. I won't be waiting about, she said. She spoke for a minute with the old shepherd Clearbrook, and then turned away, going up to the house built into the hillside by the oak grove. The messenger followed her.